Hello, my old school soul food family. Chef Jeffrey back with another video. Hey, the dog. Today, y'all, we're gonna be going to old school country Sunday dinner. I'm gonna show y'all the most delicious Sunday dinner that's comforting to me in my top ten. Today, we're gonna make some old school pork bones and cabbage. I'm gonna put these pork bones in like I'm doing right now. I'm gonna simmer in about an hour and a half. I'm gonna add my cabbage about after an hour and a half. Let it simmer about 30, 45 minutes. I'm gonna have some cornbread here in this black and skillet, this cast iron skillet. And we're gonna have us the best meal. I'm gonna get me some hot sauce and some pepper sauce. And we're gonna have us an old school dinner. So I got some pork bones here. I'm gonna season really good to stock. Got salt and pepper. My mama always put vinegar in her, a little vinegar. See, it helps, uh, it helps the cooking process of the, of the pork. I love putting pork. Anytime I cook pork, I always add vinegar to it. We're gonna fill this up. We're gonna let this simmer. It's about an hour and a half it takes with this. And these got a lot of meat. I got lucky. I got a lot of meat on these pork bones, y'all. I washed them already. I washed them really, really, really good. So some people like to take their pork bones and boil them, pour the water off and boil them again. No. What I do, I wash my bones really, really good so I don't have to do that step. So like I say, we're going to get these simmering here. Here we go. Put the lid on there. I got the cabbage here, I'm gonna cut up later. Matter of fact, also, when I'm thinking about it, I'm gonna put an onion in here. I'm gonna chop up the onion right now. You gotta do the onion later. I'm gonna put the onion, I'm gonna chop the onion in there right now, y'all. Like I say, this is good. This is good old country cooking. Who don't like neck bones and cabbage, y'all? Neck bones and cabbage, can't go wrong. I hope everybody having enough. I guess y'all will see this on a Monday. Sunday here, it'll be Monday, probably on Tuesday when y'all see this video. Probably Monday, I'll try to get it up to y'all pretty, pretty quick there. So, get some onions and put in here. Cabbage. I'm gonna cut these fairly big here, y'all, because uh, they're gonna cook a long time. So I'm gonna cut them fairly large here. Fairly large here. Okay. I'm gonna scoop a scoop of steam here. Okay. All right. There we go. All right. We're going to let this simmer here. Like I said, hour and a half. Come back. Put a cabbage in there. I'm going to have my kept cornbread. They're going to do a video on cornbread. I did that so many times. And we're going to have a good dinner. Got some hot sauce and pepper sauce. Shoot, that's all you need. So we'll be right back. Okay, y'all, we back here. Let me show you this here. I'm about to add the cabbage to this awesome. Look how look how that meat just coming out the bone, y'all. Look how tender that is. Look at that. Now, y'all see I got my, I, I had enough time. It's simmered for an hour and a half. I already made my cornbread. I even made me a buttermilk pound cake, y'all. So, Sunday's an awesome day to cook, y'all. So, what I'm going to do. I'm going to slowly add this cabbage to this. And believe me, this all going to steam together in here. You know cabbage don't take long to cook. And I'm going to let that cabbage soak up all that delicious flavor in this, uh, in this pot here. Yeah, all this going in there. You know cabbage cooked down, so I'm definitely going to all get in there. So. 
what I'm gonna do, put a little bit more liquid in here, not much, cause I don't want a lot of liquid in the, in the, a little bit more liquid in there. I'm gonna cover this up. I'm gonna let this simmer about 15, almost 20 minutes. And all that flavor just gonna be good. That cabbage gonna get good and tender. We're gonna have a good meal. I'm gonna have my uh, my uh, cornbread, my uh, pork bones and cabbage, and got even got a little buttermilk pound cake for dessert. So anyway, I will be back in about 15, 20 minutes and show you the final result. Cause this is my Sunday dinner, y'all. And thanks for joining me and watching, showing you how. Like I say, this is a very simple dish. Most old school cooking is very simple. It just neck bone just take a while when you simmer like this. Like I like to simmer my neck bone too. It pretty much fall off the bone. So anyway, I'll be back. Okay, y'all, dinner is ready. Let me show you this. And I cut it off and I let it sit here for a little bit. And look how tender this is. And I'm gonna get a little bowl. I'm not gonna get a lot. I'm just gonna show y'all how tender it is. Because I got a, a few friends coming over for dinner tonight. And this is what we're having. So I'm not gonna eat too much right now. I'm just gonna kind of taste it here. Move it over and show y'all how I eat my uh move it over here just a little. Give y'all a close-up here. This is what I use. I got crystal hot sauce. I either use the crystal or the Louisiana hot sauce. And then I have my go check out the video of my old school uh homemade hot pepper sauce. So I'm gonna put some pepper sauce on here. Here ain't never been opened before. Mm. Hold on. So these things, that's how good I make my, uh, that's how good I make my pepper sauce, y'all. When you can't even open it. That's how good of a seal is on them. Try this one here. Mm. Can't believe that. Hold on, y'all, just a second. Be right back. Okay, y'all, I'm back. Yeah, when I can, y'all, my jaws are sealed so properly that you can't, it's hard to open some of them. And they show you how good of a cannon it is. So anyway, I like to pull the old school pepper sauce on there. Like put me some hot sauce on here. Like I said, I'm only eating a little of this. And then, and then I like a little juice in mine because you know that's why I got the cornbread gonna soak up all that juice. So. Let's try a little bit. Mm. Cabbage is perfectly tender and, and not too tender. Just got a little bite to it. And look how, and look how tender. Look at neck bone. See that? Mm, mm, mm. So I eat with my hands, y'all, but country. Mm. Don't get no better than this, y'all. Neck bones and cabbage. Pork neck bones and cabbage. That's a meal right there. That is a meal. Put some hot sauce on there. Put my little down the hot sauce. Old school pepper sauce. I got a video on pepper sauce. May I put a link? Uh, at the end of this video also my buttermilk pound cake. I got a recipe for that Just search old-school buttermilk pound cake cornbread many times. I did a recipe for that Just search old-school cornbread. I know people gonna ask me why I didn't post a recipe for Cornbread and the buttermilk pound cake. It's some I already have video for those So just search old-school pound cake buttermilk pound cake old-school cornbread old-school uh, pepper sauce I got a video on this, so let me take another bite of this. Then I'm gonna close this video out. Like I say, I got guests coming over later. And this is on the menu. Old school. Mmm, that's good. That pepper sauce got just enough kick to it. And you can see, I got habaneros in there too. 
that gives it a kick. But anyway, let me close out this video. And like I close every video out, please follow my other social media account, Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, Twitter, Twitch TV, Pinterest, and OldSchoolSoulFood.com. Remember the hashtag this year? Help somebody, Old School Soul Food. And you mean help somebody on me, always mean monetary. Help somebody genuine from the heart. Don't try to help somebody to try to make yourself look good. Help somebody genuine from the heart. God sees what you do. You can do every, you can do stuff anonymously. Like I told y'all in my Q&A video, I do stuff anonymously when nobody didn't even know I did it. I pay people's bills at restaurants. I buy people groceries. I don't want them to know I did it because it's between me and God. And God is going to actually pour out the blessings to me. And I'm a living witness that he does that on a daily, weekly, and yearly basis. God has blessed me tremendously. That's why I keep giving back to everybody. I do that. But I do it not for show. Like I can say, y'all don't see a lot I do, but believe me, I do a lot for the community, my neighbors, and my human beings, brothers and sisters in this human human experience called life. But anyway, um, with that being said, uh, I'll see y'all in the next video. I love y'all. Have a blessed old school soul food day. I'll see y'all in the next video. Love y'all. Bye.